I want to share with you a message for Shabbat Shuva that comes from the Psukim that describe for us the whole process of Shuva back in last week's Parsha, Parsha Nitzavim. Perak Lamid, just a few Psukim from the beginning. You know, time will pass after the exile. You'll slowly want to return to God. Your heart will get soft and you'll, you'll want to come back. You're going to return to Hashem and you're going to listen to all these mitzvot. You, your children... V'shav Hashem alokecha et shavutcha v'richamecha. Hashem, he himself will return. Chazal say he also was an exile in a sort of way, and he will be back with us. He'll come back and he'll return our exiles. And he'll have mercy. V'shav v'kibetcha mikal ha'amim. He will collect us all from the Galut and bring us back to Eretz Yisrael, no matter where we are. Im yiyan idachacha b'ksia shamayim, even. If your exiles are all the way, all the way across the earth, across the heavens, all the way far away, God will come and get us. Etc. Etc. God will return us. God will bring us back. Part of tshuva is to come back to Eretz Yisrael, to our homeland. And hopefully, hopefully, everyone's tshuva process during these days will include a return to our homeland. And we know Hashem will want that. We know Hashem will do it. We start with just a few verbs. We start with just, and then Hashem comes with so many verbs, so many actions. Hashem will return, and no matter what will happen, Hashem will circumcise our hearts. He'll bring us back to Him. So we just do a little, and Hashem does the rest. And we know from our Shemona Esri, that's right, every day that Hashem wants our tshuva, Baruch atah Hashem harutzeh b'tshuva. So may your tshuva include not only a return to all the commandments, but also a return to Eretz Yisrael.